Erwan from Motion VFX. With the holiday season, it is the perfect timing to create great memories and share them with your family and your friends. In this new tutorial, I will show you how to create awesome souvenirs with your movies using Mcoda Frame plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. But first, let's see the final result. In this project, I've got several shots from different sources. I've got Rec 709 and log footage with different colors and luminance. I've used Mfim look to help me to unify all the shots and add the same look for the Christmas night. I've used the chill preset which add a warm atmosphere to my shots. I've customized the lens blur effect for each shot in order to get the right element in focus. And the letterbox effects unified all the different aspect ratio I've got. Besides Mfilm look, I've used Mcode frame to create the pictures effects, the titles and the film burn effect. When it is installed, you will find Mcode frame in the title library. Inside Mcode frame, you will find several effects using one to four sources. Depending on the number of the sources, you will get different animations. There is a custom effect that you can use to start your own effect from scratch. There are also several overlays effects with background elements, burn effect, colorization, films effect, frame templates, scratches, and still frame effects. You will find also four different titles with different purpose. Each title has their own animations and effects. To start simply, I will add the title. In the inspector, we'll modify the text, change the position and the size, but also the space between the two lines. In this title, I've got access to many effects parameters like the color, the defocus effect, the jitter animation, and also the in and out animations. Inside the overlays effects, I've used the burn effect to help me to create a link between each shot. By applying it on several shots, I will unify the different clips. For the burn effect, I will adjust the opacity and the blend mode. You can go deeper by modifying the hue and the randomness of each burn effect. I will add a second one on the young couple shot to add warm atmosphere, but also to add dynamism in the shot. In the library, I will go to the section for one element. I can preview the different animation directly inside the library by scrubbing the thumbnail. I will select the first one and drag and drop it on my clip.
So now I can customize the effect. Inside the viewer, I've got my own screen control for the position, rotation, and scale of the element. I've got also control to modify the crop factor of the frame. In the inspector, I've got many parameters. I'm able to zoom inside my content. I can modify the background color, opacity, and blend modes. I can switch between five different types of framing. I've got access also to scratch parameters. I've got the choice between white and black scratches. And like the frame, I can switch between different types of scratches and play with the opacity. There is also a vignette effect available with all the basic controls. And as you can see, there is a burn effect directly integrated to the M-Code frame title. You can adjust the opacity, flip it and modify the blend mode and all the color parameters. The last section is dedicated to effects which are animated, like the defocus, the variable blur and noise that you can customize between five different types. There are also some great controls for the color correction, where you can adjust the levels and the color balance. Very useful to polish the final effect. The last parameters are dedicated to the animation of the elements. You can have access to the scale parameters with a scale rate. You can choose if you want to increase or decrease the size of the element. There are also many parameters for the wiggle animation in order to add some roundness. I'm happy with these settings and I will add a title on the top. I will adjust the duration, the size and the position. In the inspector, I will remove the animation out of the title and I will switch off the scale and the wiggle animation. For the next shot, the one with the old couple, I will add M code frame effect with two sources as I've got two points of view of the couple dancing. I will select number 16, which I really like as one picture is covering the second one. I will adjust the duration and remove the animation out of the effect. By default, both are still frame, but you can decide if you want to keep the video animation by switching off the slide still frame parameter. In this case, I would like that the background picture is a still, but the front picture is a video. If you want to display a specific picture, it is really easy as you can select the accurate one with a still frame slider. Or you can select with a play head in the timeline, the right frame and click on the black button, set current frame. I will select one frame when we see both characters smiling like this one. Now I can scale the footage to fit the frame and adjust the position with the on-screen controls. I will change the scratches template and the frame shape. And now I can work on the second frame. For the second element, I will switch the footage type from background footage to custom drop zone. I will go to the event browser and select the right clip. This one. And click on apply. I will adjust the size of the footage. And for this one, I want to keep the video and not the still frame. So I will switch off the still frame parameter. I will adjust some parameters like the frame type and the scratches.
I will warm up a little bit the colors in the highlights and add some blue in the shadows. And I will add a title like the previous shot. For the last shot, I would like to get the three main characters of the movie. To do so, I will select the frame when the glasses are almost outside of the frame. I will add the effect 23, as this one is defined by three sources. I will directly switch the footage type to custom drop zone for the three sources. I will put the background opacity to zero in order to get back my Christmas tree. I will add my three sources inside the three drop zone. I will start with the first one and add the young couple. I will adjust the size and the position of the footage to get both characters on screen. I will do a little color correction with the color balance parameters. For the second frame, I will choose the young girl and her dog. I will switch off temporarily the third frame to adjust the footage and do some scaling and color correction to fit with the other pictures. And for the last one, I will select the old couple and adjust all the parameters. Now I've got the three pictures I will need to add names. I will keep the same titles and adjust the parameters for the three pictures. For the three titles, I will remove the scale and the wriggle animation to avoid too much motion. To conclude the video, I will add a Merry Christmas title. On each picture, I've got the burn effects, but not on the background. It looks a little bit strange, so I will grab the burn effects on the overlay effects and add it on the background. I will reduce a little bit the opacity. That's better. The burn effect is applied over my MFIM look effect, so it is on the top of my letterbox, which is not so great. To resolve this situation, I will select all the elements and create a cup on clip. On it, I will apply a new MFIM look effect and activate only the letterbox effect. So now I don't have any more my burn effect problems on the letterbox. But I can see that I've got an issue with the old couple effects as it seems too big. It is not a big issue as I can come back at any time inside my compound clip, modify the size of my element and come back to the final effect. As you've just seen, Mcode Frame is a perfect tool to turn your shot into a retro slide and create great memories. For more information, please visit the Motion VFX website. Don't forget to subscribe to Motion VFX YouTube channel for more tutorials. Ciao ciao, bye bye.